Okay, yesterday we have been discussing about design of non-catalytic uh, gas solid reactors and we again went to my diagram that is kinetics contacting input output and all that. So, then we have also discussed what kind of contacting patterns you will get right depending on the type of reactor you are taking that means if it is a blast furnace, rotary kiln, fluidized bed, moving bed all various reactors what you have for non-catalytic reactions and uh, the precursor for that uh, was that we should know the kinetics first okay and i hope you know the kinetics till now i think you know what we are talking about is non catalytic uh, gas solid reaction kinetics okay to summarize i will give the equations which can be or which how to be used for the design so the kinetic expressions what we have Are kinetic equations for gas solid non catalytic, I will write again NC non catalytic reactions. So, you know, if it is only film control, I think anyway for 3 control you have the big equation and that has to be used at the end, but individually if I write if I have film control. what you have is equation tau uh, sorry t equal to rho b r 3 b k g c a g x b. This is the one which I asked you to derive. So, tau is rho b r 3 b k g c a g we know this equation comes when x b equal to 1 and t by tau is x b. This is very nice simplest equation t by tau good. So, now if I have a diffusion control as diffusion control number 2. You should remember this, huh? otherwise in the examination you will have the problem. Okay. So, T alone individual steps rho b r square 6 b c a g d. So, this is only slightly complicated 3 1 minus x b to the power of 2 by 3. 2 into 1 minus x b right yeah this is the equation this equation is 4 <coughs> and tau is rho b r square 6 b c a g d e so this is equation number 5 then t by tau equal to 1 3 x b to the power of 2 by 3 2 into 1 minus x b. So, this is the equation, this is equation number 6. There is a meaning why I am writing all this. Okay. Then uh, you have uh, 3 reaction control. So, here t equal to rho b r yeah, b c a g k s k s into 1 1 minus x b to the power of 1 by 3. This is 7 now we equal to rho b r b c a g k s this is equation number 8. Now, t by tau for reaction control is 1 1 minus x b to the power of 1 by 3 this is equation number 
9 and uh, all this is for constant size particle right okay constant size particle of course here we can also you can also list out there just leave a space and then you can list out all three controlling that equation also you can just leave it there i am not writing that and now if you have changing size the if i say that this one as a b changing size particle that means during the reaction uh, size of the particle continuously changes and here we have for film control film control you have t equal to rho b r b k g not c a g into 1 minus 1 minus x b to the power of n plus 1 by 3 divided by n plus 1. This is equation number 10. So, tau v is rho b r b k g naught c a g n plus 1. This is equation number 11. Then T by tau equal to 1 minus 1 minus x b to the power of n plus 1 by 3. Correct, no? Yeah, this is 12. I hope you know the value of n for small particles, large particles. n varies from half to 1, okay, depending on the you other have size uh, small particle and uh, large particle and next one is the reaction control for reaction control t by tau is given by equation uh, yeah equation 9 t by tau okay for reaction control t by tau is equation Nine. You don't have to repeat again. So these are the equations you should remember for the design because this is the kinetic models, right? So which will give you the relationship between x b and t by tau or t because tau also you know. Good? Yeah. So once I have this, then the next one is contacting, right? Contacting. And uh, yesterday we have discussed about contacting, saying that whether you have uh, blast furnace, the flow through that for the both the phases are plug flow. If you have rotary kill, again both phases move in plug flow. And if you have mix, uh, if you have uh, fluidized bed, then solids may move in mixed flow, and uh, gas may move. Uh, that, that's slightly difficult to find out. And when we are doing fluidization, fluidized bed reactors, then you will know exactly what kind of pattern you will have that I will tell you uh, later, but to start with if you want to assume you can assume when you are near minimum fluidization velocity it will be almost plug flow right. I mean there are people who can assume even uh, the mixture flow for gas also, but that must be at very high velocities of gas. You know in fluidization there is the minimum velocity that is required for fluidizing the particles to keeping the particles in suspension right and there are very high gas velocities where almost terminal velocities are reached. So, if you reach terminal velocity it is no more a fluidized bed, it is a transport bed you know all the particles will go out. Okay. So, that limit and all those things we will discuss that later and uh, if you have a moving bed, moving bed means you take a cylindrical uh, uh, tube maybe 1 foot diameter and a height may be 20 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet and you may send for example, your iron ore slowly from the top right and from the bottom you may send your hydrogen or CO. So, then this will react gas will react with the solid and you should have sufficient conditions for the uh, reaction to take place. Then what kind of uh, 
contacting pattern you can take for plug flow or uh, sorry for uh, moving bed both are plug flow okay because you, the moving bed you are allowing such that you fill up the entire column as a packet bed and then just remove the you know some uh, small hole you know with a uh, control of the wall so that fixes the actual flow rate flow rate from the top and bottom then the entire bed will be slowly moving down that's why we call it as moving bed reactor so that is why any reactor you take we can always break into our basic contact and patterns whether mixed flow or plug flow so once we do that then we should also think one more thing uh, we should also take one more thing into account this i have mentioned in the beginning as usual i think you may not remember i told you that our most important phase is solids in non catalytic reactions in many cases okay almost 99% of the time we are more worried about what is the conversion in the solids rather than what is the conversion in the gas gas phase so that is the reason why solids are our important phase and once you have solids as imp uh, important uh, phase then we have to treat the solids as what is called macrofluid i don't know whether you have uh, okay i will write here macrofluid okay and uh, that's why the knowledge in uh, reactor theory is also important here if you have forgotten what is macrofluid and how do you get an equation for macrofluid all that then it may be slightly difficult for you but i will just try to give the brief uh, connection there okay good uh, and i have also given you the formula sheet for uh, reactor design you know sometime back in the class earlier so there also for macrofluid what is the equation and how did you derive that that is very important here so conceptually what we are thinking is that uh, in uh, yeah one of the problems with the rtd is that it cannot solve or it cannot give complete information to calculate conversions and rtd can give the information only for first order reactions why because first order reactions conversion depends on the time and rtd gives you that kind of information so direct uh, combination there so rtd gives me the time what is the definition of rtd you know the time taken by you know the, the fraction of material which is coming between time t and t plus delta t so if i look at my reactor and if i want to find out what is the fraction of material that is coming between 10th minute and 11th minute right so that fraction is et dt where et is the exit edge distribution function and uh, dt is the time interval that is the fraction so now um, if i can add all those fractions then i will know that the total amount of material how much time it took then i can take the average of it uh, average of that then i will take the mean residence time or average residence time all that you can get from rtd but if i take other than first orders in second order okay there is one more parameter which comes into picture that is called mixing whether the mixing has taken place early or mixing has taken place late and one of the beautiful examples that was given for this to demonstrate is this i have a plug flow uh, plug flow reactor then followed by mixed flow reactor and just reverse the same thing yeah these are the two models right so this is ideal plug flow ideal plug flow ideal mixed flow ideal mixed flow right so i have this uh, system uh, two systems and if i conduct a first order reaction whether here or here i get the same conversion right and if i conduct the second order reaction this will give me more conversion and this will give me less conversion so the idea here is that here in the second order reaction we have to keep the concentration as high as possible because we have kca square as the rate so if a uh, if ca is large then you will have more and more yeah more uh, rate of reaction and then more conversions correspondingly okay so that is what is happening that means you should not allow mixing for higher order reactions greater than 1 okay you should not allow in the beginning itself so that means you should delay the mixing as much as possible delay the mixing here it is delayed first i have 
plug flow where by definition there is no mixing we are talking about action mixing okay good so whereas here if i conduct the same second order reaction it gives me low conversion because here at the first instant itself you have the concentration decreased because of perfect mixing the idea here is when a fresh concentration uh, you know c a not is just put inside then this will mix with already there is is a continuous flow continuously reaction is taking place so this fresh fresh c a not is mixed with already converted stream within the reactor where the concentration falls right product has a different concentration in the uh, outlet or here it is same concentration so that is why it now gives a low conversion here and orders other than uh, um, less than 1 this will give you more conversion and this will give you less conversion it can be proved and uh, you can you can derive on your own it's not great uh, e equal to mc square type uh, uh, concepts here it is very simple so that's why you can derive your on your own and then try to find out so that is why the now the question came here that okay you are telling about this is late mixing and this is early mixing okay this is late mixing and this is early mixing can you say how late it is or how early it is because early and late are only you know relative terms i think they are loose terms general english only you know we will use that but you have to be very precise in engineering to say that late means how many days late how many hours late so that is why we we cannot get that kind of information in these two systems right so that's why we imagine a fluid where if i have uh, broken up all my fluid which is continuously going inside in terms of packets where these packets are not allowed to coalesce or allowed to break i hope you know what is meaning coalescence and uh, uh, breaking of course you know okay yeah so we should not allow that means once the packet enters as a packet it comes just like that outside okay this we call it as segregated fluid okay or we can also call this one as macro fluid macro fluid and the other extreme is the micro fluid where we have individual molecules freely moving throughout the reactor so that means any molecule if there is a chance for uh, 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 reaction any molecule can react with any molecule because there is perfect mixing in this perfect mixing is possible in micro fluid you should not get confused here but even this micro fluid there are two restrictions the status of the fluid itself fluid can easily move uh, in the form of individual molecules that means there is a possibility for the molecules to interact with any molecule in micro fluid right but that is one restriction the other restriction is that suppose i put that in a plug flow reactor these individual molecules micro fluid now i put in uh, plug flow reactor but by definition plug flow reactor is not mixed reactor you are not allowing i mean the, the uh, molecules are capable of moving but your system will not allow the molecules to move that's why even micro fluid behaves as macro fluid there okay so in a plug flow whether i have micro fluid whether i have uh, yeah macro fluid or micro fluid it doesn't matter for me because the treatment is same what we see is every particle is entering and exactly leaving at the outlet okay with the same time whether it is packets or whether they are individual molecules so the residence time is fixed for the packets that is macro fluid or for the individual molecules and the reaction is taking place when the, when it is slowly moving and that's why we say that we have infinite uh, concentration across the cross section okay i mean not infinite concentration infinite mixing so that means infinite mixing idea is here at any cross section if i look my concentration is same but that concentration is varying with the axial direction okay so now good so <coughs> uh, uh, as far as uh, these individual molecules are concerned we have understood now okay if these individual molecules are we are able to put in mixed flow reactor they are capable of easily mixing so actually it will get diluted so that's why you get also less conversions now how do you put this same information with macro fluid i will now take these packets of molecules and then pack here and, and, and okay I, I, continuously i feed and then they come out now even in the packets the concentration is uh, uh, uniform because if i look all the packets will be exactly moving like this 
okay, exactly moving like that. So, then uh, I can find out all the, the concentration here is same, concentration here is same, concentration here is same okay, within that line. So, again it is easy for me to imagine for plug flow, but if I put this same packets here in the mixed flow reactor, then by definition the residence time distribution that means molecules coming from the start to end, it is 0 to infinity. That means, some molecules may stay almost 0 time and some molecules may stay infinite time, that is molecules wise. Even if you take packets, some packets may stay uh, I mean 0 time, some packets may stay infinite time and each packet now you can imagine as a small, small batch reactors. They are not allowed to mix with any other packet. right? So, that is why the reaction that is going on is only limited to that packet, that packet alone. right? So, now the concentration or conversion in that packet depends on how much time it has spent inside the reactor. So, some may spend only 5 minutes, some may spend 50 minutes, some may spend only 5 seconds. So, in 5 seconds packet the conversion is almost I mean 0, I mean let us say very, very small or 5 minutes you will have some uh, corresponding conversion or 50 minutes almost the conversion would have been completed. Okay? Uh, conversion should have been 1. So, that is the reason why the average of all that, that is the one which you see outside. And I can also tell you like a story, you know, like a story only I am now trying to tell you. So, now we can tell that if I have uh, I mean macro fluid okay? and if I have second order reaction, second order reaction, macro fluid, mixed flow reactor. Remember three conditions, mixed flow reactor, second order reaction, macro fluid. And the other case is again uh, uh, the okay, mixed flow reactor, now not micro fluid, micro fluid, not macro fluid, micro fluid and second order reaction. Which one will give you more conversion? Huh? Kavya, you are telling something? Why? Yeah. So, what is happening? Correct. Answer is right. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Concentration is retained by that packet as high as possible. So, that is why you will get more conversion when compared to microfluid. Right? Okay. I think this is the general information. I think this has to, you have to remember all this essay. It is a wonderful concept and remember this which will make everything clear. Okay. So, that means, if you put first PFR and then uh, MFR and reverse it and you will see that here you have more conversions for second order, here you will have less conversions for um, second order and then the reason you have to question why, why that is happening. That is happening because that is late mixing, this is early mixing for second order reactions. So, then everything falls because I, I cannot define, even now we do not have complete picture in reaction engineering, how to get that information we are asking. That means, you know. Uh, one extreme only you are discussing. That means, you are allowing only packets in one, uh, one case and all individual molecules in other case, but in reality you may have some packets and some molecules individually. Then un under those conditions, how do you do that? Oh, many people tried wonderfully and there are very nice models and all that, but still we are not perfect in trying to get the conversion in a chemical reactor. Okay? Now, what is the con uh, connection between this? this what I told and also now the design in non catalytic reactors. right? The I told you that our important phase in most of the time non catalytic reactions is solids. Would you take solids as microfluid or macrofluid? Yeah, if I take iron ore particle of let us say you know may be uh, 1 centimeter, then inside that we have so many yeah, molecules of Fe 3 O 4. Right? So, that one is like that, you can imagine all the particles are as macro fluid. Right? So, once you have that macro fluid, now how do you find out the conversion for this macro fluid? Even here, if I have this, uh, I told you that uh, uh, imagine that only we have mixed flow reactor, the other one also we can imagine, but this will give you slightly more uh, information. Then, continuously I am putting the packets and continuously they are coming out under steady state conditions, but 
when I am concentrating at time t equal to 0, let us say 100 uh, particles, 100 uh, macrofluid packets, I just put it there, then out of that one may come out, right, immediately. Then afterwards, maybe 5 minutes, 10 minutes, all that you, you may come, uh, come out. Now, what you are trying to do at the end, you have to average the concentrations of all these packets within that batch, what you focused. So, like that continuously, any time you imagine, that is what is happening. Continuously, I am feeding the packets, continuously they are coming out, but depending on their own residence time, you will have the conversions and all that average conversion is what I see at the outlet. Okay? So, imagination here is that all those packets have been broken into molecules and then try to find out what is the conversion there. So, then uh, that is what, what we see, but actually what is happening is each individual packet will have a different conversion, you are averaging that all that. So, that means, what is that mechanism, what is happening there? I have let us say between uh, maybe 5 minutes to 5th minute to 6th minute, how many packets have come? What is the conversion in that? Okay. How do I get the information between, I um, mean information on 5th minute and 6th minute? How do I know how many packets are coming? Do you have information or you do not have information? Question is clear or I am just asking, I want to find out in any reactor, in any, anyway here I think mixed flow we are talking. So, what is the uh, what number of packets are coming between 5th minute and 6th minute? Do you have that information? RTD, instead of packets, instead of uh, fraction, I said packets, that is all. So, RTD will give you between any two times, what is the fraction of material that is coming out. And now, the kinetics, if you have first order or second order, that kinetics will tell you now, what is the conversion in those packets. Right? So, between 5th minute and 6th minute, um, I have 100 packets or the, the fraction may be 10 uh, percent of the material. Okay? So, within that, what is the conversion? And that conversion is dictated by kinetics. So, that is why kinetics and contacting, this RTD is nothing but contacting. right? And if I take ideal mixed flow reactor, I have a specific RTD, right? because mixed flow I am telling. So, when I have mixed flow specific uh, you know, reactor, then I know definitely my RTD, the reverse is not possible. Right? So, that is also a wonderful point, which we have discussed last time. So, that means, given a reactor, you know definitely what is the RTD. Okay? Here, if I have, if I give you, I have a mixed flow reactor, then you know the equation is, yeah, E t equal to E power minus t by t bar by t bar, that is the equation what you have. right? But, if I give you this equation, and then ask you, what is the contacting pattern, you can generate infinity, infinite number of possibilities are there. This is again wonderful point, I think you have to remember. Okay? We have discussed that in the last semester. So, you, you understood the question, no? I think it is very nice. Given a reactor, you know definitely what is RTD, but given a RTD function, RTD equation, you can never say what kind of reactor you have. But only one uh, possibility, uh, one condition is that, um, uh, if, if you have plug flow direct delta function, no other system can give you direct delta function. Direct delta function is the RTD for plug flow. No other system can give you that direct delta function except plug flow. But whereas, with mixed flow, there are many, many possibilities. There is nothing new or totally weird thing what we are discussing, because it is already been discussed by Levenspiel for long time in his book. Okay, all other books also, right? But Levenspiel gives that you know beautifully. So that's why I think you have to read once more all this information. Okay, so that is why when you go for uh, actual writing the equations, then we need these kinetics because this is what is gives me what is the conversion that is going on in each and every packet. This one, all these equations, depending on film control, depending on ash diffusion control or reaction control, or depending on three controlling. That is also. Right, that, we, that will give me in those packets, so what is the conversion and my E t d t will give me what kind of reactor we have. Okay. So, based on that only, we have derived that equation for segregated fluid, okay. design expression for macro fluid. 
Okay, here we have the microfluid for solids. Yeah, we have one minus x bar b equal to zero to infinity one minus x b of single particle. single particle into E t d t. So, this is equation 13. So, this is the equation. I have written this in slightly different form than what I have given in the uh, that formula sheet. Okay. So, actually what is this one here? Yeah, C A bar by C A naught and this is C A bar by uh, C A by yeah, C A by C A naught batch. Okay. Here it is single particle. Now, you can see uh, if I have this E T D T for plug flow reactor. So, then this becomes there a delta function. If I have mixed flow ideal reactor, so then again you have here E by yeah, e power minus t, 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 yeah, t by t bar by t bar. So, those things you have to just substitute there and it is not only ideal reactors, any non-ideal reactor also this is true. Yesterday, Satyam was asking me sir uh, in a blast furnace where uh, uh, if, if you do not have ideal plug flow, what do you do? If I do not have ideal plug flow, what is the nearest non-ideality that comes for uh, plug flow? Axial dispersion. We have an equation for E T D T or E T for axial dispersion, that is what you substitute here. If I do not have ideal uh, mixed flow reactor, then we have a mixed flow reactor with dead space, because mixing is not perfect and that happens many times in fluidized bed also, because some part of the bed is not that vigorously mixing, that vigorously fluidizing and some other part in the bed, <laughs> because in industry you will have 3 meters, 4 meter diameter fluidized beds. Okay. 4 meters, I think you know, maybe 3 fourths of this room that is the diameters what you have. So, some part it may be very active, some part may not be active because of non uniform distribution of gas. So, that is why you have dead spaces there. So, you also have a model for E t if I have dead space and bypass. Okay. So, that is why you have all that information, and I also gave you last semester that you have so many models also possible combination of models for E T D T you know for uh, residence time distribution models. So, I also gave a handout there at the time. So, that is why all that information can be used in this equation. right? Okay. So, normally what happens here is that when I put 0 to infinity as the upper limit, is it really realistic or do we have to change that uh, value physically? What do you mean by infinite time? What will be x b for infinite time? Yeah, so that entire integration disappears. So then, what is the logical upper boundary? Excellent. Tau. Tau is the logical upper boundary. So this equation is one minus x bar b. This you write first. Then this is zero to tau. See beyond tau you do not have x, x b equal to 1. So, that function disappears. Okay? Yeah. So, that is why you have to put only this maximum is tau, this is single particle E t d t. This is the actual equation. Yeah. And of course, now if I have uh, this E t for ideal plug flow or ideal uh, mixture flow, now I can substitute and then get the values. Okay. This is the general expression for, Yeah, I think I will actually write uh, maybe tomorrow all these things, uh, the actual uh, uh, equations we write for plug flow as well as mixture flow reactor. And uh, what I would like to tell is, here this x b is not an easy function, except for this. Correct, no? This x b is simply 1 minus, I can add 1 minus 1 minus x 
x b. Okay. So, this 1 by see this equation, yeah, I think I do not know whether you have realized that or not, E t d t is in terms of time and x b also have to convert in terms of time. So, that is the relationship what I have been telling you, you know you need uh, the conversion time relationship for kinetic model from kinetic models. So, that is why this equation gives me that relationship 1 minus x b now we express it in terms of t time, tau is constant anyway that, 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 that those things I know how to calculate. So, that equation you have to substitute here, if it is film control here I have to substitute 1 minus t by tau here and then here I know if it is a packet bed or I mean uh, plug flow or if it is ideal mixed flow then I can integrate that equation. Integration is not easy I think uh, it is normally uh, complicated uh, equations only you get. Okay, now, you see diffusion as diffusion control. Yeah, so, this is the equation which I have to solve first. I have to get from this equation for 1 minus x b. That 1 minus x b should be expressed in terms of t or t by tau, okay, this equation, equation 6. This is easy instead of writing all that things. So, t by tau. So, this x b uh, 1 minus x b has to be solved and then substitute there and integrate. So, you know this is a cubic equation now and then it is not that easy. And even here, the other one. Yeah, here. Huh? Yeah, this is easier. Yeah, this is easier than this. Okay, so that is why I have written all these equations in this fashion so that you will have immediate relationship between this design expression and then that. This is the final design expression. What do you get from this? If I give you time, maybe you know uh, this. Uh, yeah, we have in terms of time here, right? If time is let us say 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, what is the conversion? Okay, or of course, if you substitute after the uh, integration these limits, that will be in terms of t by t bar, or, uh, t bar by tau. Tau is the uh, tau is associated with individual particles. Please remember that tau is associated with individual particle. T bar is associated with reactor. T bar is associated with reactor. Yeah, I think maybe you did not catch my point. Here, if E t, if I write as E power minus T by T bar by T bar, this is let me say clearly m. Right. So, this T will disappear because it is a definite integral, okay. This T small t, then you will have in terms of T bar m and Oh, yeah, yeah, minus is there, yes. Yeah. Okay. So, that is what. So, you will have the equation only in terms of t bar and tau. Tau we know. Anyway, okay. That is no problem. Now, given x bar b, calculate t bar. T bar is associated with again, I am telling you the uh, average residence time of the particles. How do you calculate? Volume by volumetric flow rate, right. But in this case, it is not volume by volumetric flow rate, it is hold up by W is hold up kgs by f what we call kg per time. So, t bar I know now. Okay. So, we have to find out this t bar if x bar is known. If t bar is given to you, I will say that okay, I have so much uh, you know the hold up inside the reactor and I know what is f the flow rate uh, that, that is actually your input f is your input here. Okay. So, then uh, I can calculate t bar using the t bar I can now calculate what will be the x bar given is the same thing same design if you know the volume calculate conversion if you know conversion calculate volume you cannot do anything if you do not know both uh, if you do not know either this or that okay. at least one you should assume one you should know. Okay. So, I think we will stop here.